Hello everyone, my name is Katie Menges and I'm the project manager with ITS. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to open up a support ticket with Symantec. There's two ways to open up a support ticket. First off, you can call into phone support by dialing 888-252-5551. Then you want to select option 2 and then you want to select option 1. The other way to open up a ticket is by going to the My Support. And you can go to my support by going to https colon slash slash mysupport.semantic.com. There's a little bit of information though that you're going to need to know before you open up a support ticket. For the phone support, you're going to have to have your customer contact information. And this will be provided to you in some form of a documentation from Symantec. The other way is through the My Support online, you're going to have to have your technical ID number. If you do not have this number, you'll need to call into phone support and they'll be able to provide you with this number. Now let me demonstrate for you how to actually open up a support ticket online. Here you can see that I've gone to the My Support webpage. And so now I'm going to go ahead and log in. If you do not have an account already set up, you can go ahead and create an account here. Now, because I have already logged into the system on multiple occasions, it did not ask me for my technical ID number. But again, there will be a box that will appear here and it will ask you for a technical ID number. So to go ahead and submit a case, you want to click on here to submit case. Here you're going to choose the category that's best going to describe the issue that you're experiencing. So for example, we're going to click troubleshooting and then click continue. Here it's going to ask you for the product name. If you are using the semantic notification server, you're going to want to put in management platform. So go ahead and select management platform, formerly known as notification server. Next, we're going to have to select what product version that we're using. We're going to use 7.1. Next, select your platform. If you're using 7.1, you're probably using Windows Server 2008 R2. Next, you have to select the platform version. And then we're going to write a very brief one-line description of the issue that we're experiencing. Now click continue. Here it's going to ask you to review the details of your ticket. So you can see here the problem type is troubleshooting. The product name is the management platform. The product version is 7.1. Our platform is Windows Server 2008 R2. And our platform is a 64-bit. And that the brief description is our notification server is not going to load. Over here you're going to see a list of knowledge base articles that you can uh, click on in order to try to troubleshoot your issue. Here we're going to go ahead and select yes, that we want to continue to create this case. Now we've come to this page. Here we're going to give more detailed information as to the issue that we're experiencing. As you can see, we've already selected the category, the product, and we've written a very brief summary. Here we can select the agent that is causing the issues. We need to select a severity for this issue. We're going to say that this is a critical issue. If you have an error code, it's very important to input that here. If you have an alternate phone number, perhaps a cell phone number where they can reach you, it's important to put that in this field. In this detail window, we're going to want to provide as much detail as possible to help the technicians to troubleshoot this issue. Here we're going to select which agent version that we are using. Here we're going to select the company that we work for. If there's a specific site, you'll want to input that here. Additionally, if there's an alternate email address that you want the information to go to, you want to input it here into this field.
If you have a support number, you can put it in here, but it is optional. And additionally, you can select which language you would like to have them talk to you. And then we'll just go ahead and we can submit this case. And you will get a confirmation email letting you know your new ticket number. This concludes my presentation on how to submit a ticket in the My Support page through Symantec. Enjoy!